Are you on the hunt for an elegant birthday cake? Something that's got some real wow factor to it? Then I know you're going to love my berries and cream sponge cake. The end result is this moist, tender cake. And when it's filled with cream and berries, oh, it's irresistible. A saucepan. I have six tablespoons of unsalted butter in my little pot here and a full cup of 2% milk. I'll just heat this over low heat. Eggs and water. A sponge cake is all about the volume that eggs give you. And you'll find you get better volume from your sponge cake if you have warm eggs. I'll crack these into my bowl. The bowl of her stand mixer. We see the unshelled eggs in her bowl rock gently as she adds the last one. And in goes two cups of granulated sugar. She adds that to the eggs. And two teaspoons of vanilla. She guesstimates as she pours from the bottle. Then she turns the stand mixer on and we watch the ingredients combine. And a little later, they're done. She lifts the arm of the mixer and removes the whisk. All right, look at how light and airy. I love that butter yellow color it has. I can leave a line on top of the sponge so I know my bubbles are tight and fine and will hold their volume. She reconnects the whisk. So now it's time for the dry ingredients. She puts them in a sifter. I've got two cups of cake and pastry flour two teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Because it's so finely milled, you really need to sift it. She does onto parchment, which she then uses to pour the dry ingredients into her batter. She restarts the stand mixer, and minutes later... The key is, the second you stop seeing visible bits of flour, you stop the mixer. That way you won't deflate your whipped eggs and sugar. She now pours some. This seems like the strangest step. So I put about a cup and a half of batter into a mixing bowl, and I'm going to pour my hot melted butter and milk right into this bit of batter. She stirs it with the whisk. And then it goes right into the original mixing mixture. bowl while it's still hot. She stirs that with a spatula. And once you see it's evenly combined, then it's time for your pans. She reaches for them. I've got two nine-inch springform pans, lined the bottoms with parchment, floured the sides, and you just pour it right in. The mixture now fills each springform pan approximately a quarter of the way up. These are ready for my oven, which I've preheated to 350, and they take about 30 minutes to bake. Later. What I love about this berries and cream cake is its simplicity. No fancy frostings or fillings. It's all about the whipped cream. I have two cups of whipping cream. In the mixer. I've whipped up a little bit, and now what I like to add is half a cup of icing sugar and two tablespoons of skim milk powder. She restarts the stand mixer. And a short time later. And just right at the very end, you add two teaspoons of vanilla. Poured from the bottle. That turns this from just regular whipped cream to a Chantilly cream. She restarts the stand mixer. And quickly stops it again. There we go. I'm just going to leave that right in the mixer while I grab my sponge cake layers. Now out of the pan. And they're just, oh, they're so beautiful. I love a good sponge cake, honestly. A cake stand. You can assemble right on your serving platter or cake stand if you have it. She grabs the cream. The outside of this cake. And adds a layer. Does not get frosted. So you want to see the layers of sponge and cream and fruit. Now she grabs chopped berries. Of course, whatever is fresh and in season. Which she layers. The best to use. On top of the cream before topping them with the second cake. I just love the aroma. And that's why a cake like this in its simplicity. Now more cream. The accent of the cream is just so perfect. Which is crowned with more berries. Okay, seriously. This takes no time at all to assemble. And yet it is so stunningly beautiful. Fresh fruit desserts are some of my favorites. So I guess you know what kind of birthday cake you can bring to my house when it's my birthday. <laughs> Elegant and simple, I know you are going to love mastering the hot milk sponge and making this beautiful berries and cream cake. She smiles.